We're holding on to the past. We're holding on to the mantra of I'm a victim. They did me wrong. Forgetting that God has given us power to overcome. We are more than conquerors. Surely I can conquer this hurt. Surely I can conquer betrayal. Surely I can conquer unforgiveness. Okay, uh, Luke 17, Luke 17, Luke 17. I'm just going to read it uh, kind of in context. Uh, Luke 17, starting at verse 1. Then said he unto his disciples, It is impossible but that offenses will come. So you're going you're gonna to have offenses in your life. You're going to have trouble, trials, and they're going to come through people. People will do you wrong. But woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. So you deal with the situation. You have the conversation. You let them know they did, that you feel like they just did you wrong. They hurt you. They betrayed you. You have the conversation. It said, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. Somebody said, that's one time. Then verse 4 says, and if he trespass against thee seven times in a day. Y'all, that's hard. In one day, I don't get to sleep on it and ask God for my daily bread the next day. Seven times in one day. Guess what? God has given me enough strength to get through that day. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day he turn again to you saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Ain't that hard, y'all? That's hard, Nona. It wasn't just hard for me. It wasn't just hard for you. It was hard for the disciples because what they say in verse 5. And the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith. <laughs> Y'all, it's something in there I never saw before, Sister Green. It's something in there I never saw before. I didn't realize that my ability or my inability to forgive you with God's forgiveness from my heart was actually a measure of my faith. In other words, if my faith in God is strong enough, no matter whom the offense comes from, I am trusting that God ordered my day, he ordered my life, he knew my begin, my ending from before my beginning. And so if you come in my life and you cut me, hurt me, stab me in the back, I know that my God knew it was going to happen before it happened. And even though I didn't know it was going to happen, if I can trust in him enough to know that he He's going to see me through it. It makes me easy in forgiving you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cecilia, it's, it's like it, it now, it, y'all, it, I'm telling y'all, it's whooping me because now I'm realizing that sometimes. I don't want to be presumptuous because all of us are not in the same position. Let me speak for myself. Can I speak for myself? Sometimes it's been hard for me to forgive in that instance because I wasn't trusting God enough to handle me and them. So I'm holding on in the situation to my anger and my bitterness and trying to do retribution because I don't believe God is going to handle it how I want him to handle it. So I'm trying to handle it. But you know what I figured out? I figured out either God's going to handle it or I'm going to handle it. And in order for him to handle it, I got to take my hands off of it. And, Chad, in order for me to assure that I'm good with him and he don't have to handle me, not only do I have to take my hands off of it, I have to get my heart right about it. Because 
sometimes God is not handling the situations that we want him to handle because we're in the wrong posture and he's got to handle us as his children to get us right before he gets that right. That, that makes sense? He, yeah, because he, he loves us. He's concerned about us. He wants us to be right. He wants us to possess his love and his light. And if we act in a fool with the sinner, if I'm acting a fool with my fellow believer, he got... He, he has to deal with me because he's a good father and a good father chastises. I don't, uh, well, Aiden, y'all don't get whoopings, but I, I grew up when I would be with my cousins and stuff and somebody would break something or somebody would get in a fight. It was very common to hear, well, all y'all going to get a whooping. All y'all, even the ones who didn't do nothing, you just were there while they were acting a fool. You should have stepped in and stopped it. Everybody. I'm telling too much of my business today. Lord, help. Let's go to uh, Luke. I think I'm going to end right here. Uh, we thank God for the Bible study lesson. Because, no, because I really believe, Bishop, I really believe God is maturing us and growing us because th he wants to elevate us. And some of us, our hearts are not right for elevation. You, when you look at the, um, when you look at the parable of the talents, the three men, the two that got promoted were the ones who did the will of their Lord when he wasn't physically present. The one who didn't do the will of his Lord, he lost his place. They got elevated because they had the spirit of their leader. They had the heart of their leader. They were accountable to their leader. And so I feel like God is dealing with us about this area of forgiveness. I think some of us are missing out on relationships because we're not ready to forgive. We're holding on to the past. We're holding on to the mantra of I'm a victim, they did me wrong, forgetting that God has given us power to overcome. We are more than conquerors. Surely I can conquer this hurt. Surely I can conquer betrayal. Surely I can conquer unforgiveness. <laughs> 